Hello everybody, this is Angie. Um, I'm here to talk to you about my cross stitch. My This is the Floss Tube channel, um, Bub My Stitches. I just changed the name on Instagram. I am Bub My. Hope you'll hop on over there and um, join me on Instagram. If you are here to talk about cross stitch and hear about cross stitch, I hope you'll hit the like button and the subscribe button and you'll leave a comment at the end. That would be great. Happy summer. Isn't it great? It's been really hot here in Illinois and we haven't had a lot of rain. What are you going to do? It's summer. All right, let's get into it. I have an FF, FFO, a five year in the process FFO. Here it is. Lila Studios, Let Freedom Ring. It only took five years to get it done. Sat in time out quite a bit, so it wasn't like I worked on it all the time. There were times that it went a long time without anything happening. I took this to my local framers, Jeffrey Allen. My husband came with me. He really has a good eye for picking things out, and they have excellent framers. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I haven't figured out where it's going to hang in my house or if my son Thomas is going to take it with him because I told him this was for him. But it is going with me to StitchCon. It will be there. I'm happy with it. Um, to uh, somebody who is not a stitcher, they would like, hey, this is fabulous. To someone who's a stitcher um, who has a really good eye, there are some threads that even though I tried my best to get clipped really well, I did not. So that kind of bugs me, but I just don't look at it that closely because I'm happy with it. And um, I absolutely love this piece and I enjoyed working on it. There's a lot of one over one. All those words are one over one. Um, not, not that one. Here, here, here. All of that is one over one. Uh, oh, Independence Day Bobnet is one over one. It's a gorgeous piece, and I'm really happy with it. So. All right, so I've decided, even though I don't do a lot of like plan, um, plan stitching, but I have decided that I'm going to work on, I've picked out some pieces in my head. I'm going to work on them. Like that'll be like my focus piece, get that done. And then I could start something new unless something's coming up. Like I have a birthday for somebody that's coming up. So that's got to get done. I had StitchCon coming up for the smalls exchange. I had to get that done. So little pieces here and there are getting done. But first I want to show you what it's not fully finished yet, but what I'm going to give as my smalls exchange for StitchCon. Um, if you don't want to hear about StitchCon, close your ears for a couple seconds. I've read on comments on Facebook. There are people who are concerned about the smalls exchange. If you don't want to participate, nobody will know that you did or didn't participate. So that's not a big deal. No pressure. Okay. If you are, and I saw comments about, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to package it up? Like what, what should I put it in? They come in all, all sorts of things, um, that how they do it, it being on the table and you getting to go and pick how you package it makes it fun. Um, gift bags are fine and a box is fine in, and a lunch sack is fine. Whatever, you know, there's no pressure. Um, last year I did a box. This is, this isn't the box I'm using this year, but a box, you know, it doesn't have to be anything elaborate or fancy. Like seriously, if you have a lunch sack and want to put it, put it, put it in there, that's fine too. Um, but I'm going to show you what I did because I know that people have made comments that they're nervous about what they're going to give. Whatever you stitch, it's going to be from the heart and whoever gets it's going to love it. So I'm, I did, um, common thread by pedal pusher. We were gifted this at stitch con 2019. And this is on, it says CS fabric. And I've been racking my brains trying to think of what CS is. Somebody probably is yelling at the screen that they know, but, um, but it's 28 count Lugana, maybe in the color ancient, maybe. So I didn't use the called for colors. I went to my 
my threads and I picked out some, I'll think of it later, color and cotton, that's who it is, some color and cotton and I just picked out the colors that I like and there's what I did. And then on the back, I'm gonna make this into a little pillow. I made that. And then I'm gonna use some Lady Dot Creates Chenille to make it into a little pillow. You can add extra stuff if you want. If you don't, that's okay too. Everybody does something different. So do not stress yourself out. All right, so I got that done. And then I have been working on Hands-On Design Memorial Day. I sat watching the Indy 500 while stitching this on the day before Memorial Day. Um, I really like this piece. It's taken me a lot longer than it should to get it done. But here is where I am at. When I started working on it this year, in 2023, I believe I had the flag done. I had these flowers done. So I think for this year, I finished like the clothing line, this starting the words, and this flag. And it uses the, I'm using the called for threads, which are sulky cotton petites. And I do like these threads. You only need one strand. And I learned something yesterday. You didn't know this. Maybe I'm the only dork in the world. But the top pops up a little bit. So after you take your thread, you could put the end in here and then push it down and then it won't unravel. Learn something new every day, whether you like it, whether you want to or not. That's what my mother-in-law always said. That's what I learned yesterday. All right, the next thing I have been working on is by Stacy Stacy Nash Primitives. And I've had this for a long time. This is Whitaker. I pulled him out and I am, am I using, I believe, I believe I'm using the called for threads, which are gentle arts threads, but I am not using the called for thread bag. I'm using what I believe is called Fiddler's Cloth. Thank you, Debbie. And here's where I'm at. I, I'm really kind of enjoying this because I went and stitched with um, some stitching friends yesterday, Deb and Debbie. And I was just filling this in. And so I could talk and I didn't have to think or count. So that's where I'm at with that. And I'm enjoying that. Now I've told myself that when I get when I get this done, then I have my next piece um, that I'm gonna work on finishing and I'm gonna allow myself a new start. The next piece that I am working on, my page fell out. I got this book at the library and then I bought it as well because I really like it. Oh shoot, I lost my page. Well, I'll show you the piece where I'm at. I lost my page. And my needles hanging in there. I'm working on uh, Zweigart Even Weave, a 28 count, and it's, it says it's hand aged. Oh, it's going to be a chicken and the little chicks. I really like this fabric a lot. The chicken is so cute, and the colors are so nice and bright. I am loving it. Um, that is what I've been working on. I've spent a lot of time since school got out last week. Is that right? The week before? We got out the Thursday before Memorial Day. I've lost track of time. I've, I had to tell myself three times today that today's just Tuesday. I keep thinking today's Wednesday. Um, but I've been spending a lot of time kidding things up and going through and looking at my whips and what I really want to stitch and what is going to got said, nope, it's not going to happen. And I unkitted it. So I've done that a few times today, but I will show you what I have um, kitted recently that is in the 
is going to be in the queue of what's coming up next. Um, I have this thing for snowmen, so, so by Silver Creek Samplers. I kitted this up, and I'm going to do him on, this is an Ada, and I don't have a tag on it to say what, um, what color or what count. But I'm going to use the called for threads for that. I've been, I think I need one more thread. But I think I ordered it and I don't, I remember it coming in with some other things. I don't know where it went. Find that. Nope, it's in there. I had to order Weeks Dye Works White Lightning. That's what color this, the snowman is. I also, I think. Did I get this last year? I believe so. By Lindy Stitches and Blue Flower, the collaboration for Saltwater Scrapbook. So here's Lindy's, Lindy's side, and here is the Blue Flower side. Um, I got this last year at StitchCon, and I got... Oops, got the fabric for it so it's a picture this plus Lugana glacier it is a 28 count and I'm going to make it I'm going to make the um, the whole piece the one the, uh, I make it not into little pillows but all as well I don't know when I'm starting it I'm trying to decide what is coming with me to StitchCon as the StitchCon start and what is staying, what is not. Um, I started this a couple of years ago, and I think I wasn't happy with the fabric. And I had kind of forgotten about it, but I was watching Pam and Steph, and they have it hanging on their wall now for summer. I was like, I have to get that done. I have to. So I know that after I unkitted it, I contacted keepsakes and said I need this so um weeks dye work straw it's a 30 count is the fabric oops it's all pinned together there's the fabric and I got the called all the called for flosses the specialty flosses it needed I, you know, I probably need to start that sooner than later because Indiana State Baseball is uh, on the next road to the College World Series. So, all right. So that's what I've kitted up. I've kitted up a few other things, but I don't know how long I was going to be here. So I stopped. Uh, I have a flashback, a blast from the past my mother gave me. Um, my husband, Dave, and I are cel celebrated on June 4th, our 35th wedding anniversary. So my mom re-gifted me the gift I gave her on one of her anniversaries. I don't remember what year I gave this to my mom and dad. Um, I think I'm going to reframe it in something else. But the precious moments. And I tried to look to see if I still had the book. And I wonder if I gave away my precious moments books. I had quite a few. I think this is called Two in a Canoe Love Em's You. I remember right. I probably stitched this back in 80, see their 25th wedding anniversary was in 87. I don't know I did it, if I did it for then. But. And I've been doing quite a bit of shopping. I went last week to the Cranberry Bog Cottage in Terre Haute. Um, if you have not been, I think you should go. It's a lovely, lovely, lovely shop. And the ladies there are so lovely. I love them. Um, they're great ladies to work with. I'm going to pause for a second because I thought of something when I'm thinking of Indiana. I want to, um, the first retreat that I ever went to was in Indiana, the Fancy Works Retreat. And I think you've seen on social media that Diana, the shop owner, recently passed away suddenly. And so I want to give my condolences to her family. They've been in my prayers. Um, 
I have to give a lot of kudos to Diana. I keep a special place in my heart for her because that was the first retreat I ever went to. And um, thanks to Vana talking it up on her floss tube channel. And that is where I met Becky, the obsessed stitcher and Terry Markering and Mary Tobias and Ruth and Wilma from New York. Uh, Becky um, isn't stitching anymore, but Terry and Mary still are. And they are my two of my best stitching buds. And we've gone to a lot of retreats together. And so um, making those friendships has meant a lot to me. And I met a lot of lovely ladies at that retreat. And so, um, so yeah, so I just have a special place in my heart for her. And I just wanted to acknowledge her passing because she was part of the stitching world and she had a lovely shop there in Indiana, which is closed. So, but on to Cranberry, Cranberry Bog Cottage in Terre Haute, Indiana. So I went in there and they redone the shop. Now they're carrying more weeks dye work and gentle arts floss they have some of everything there um i met some lovely stitchers while i was there one other stitcher this the one of the employees and another stitcher and of course they didn't write down their names so i'm out of my head like gone but here's what i got so i got some fabric i got some hand dyed ada in 18 count just a nice it's um, like cream and there's some hints of gray and, be and beige in there. Nice modeling in there. I got Prairie Schooler book number 202 Evergreen. One of these days, I have several of these. And one of these days, I'm going to get my butt in gear and get on it. I need to add that to my list. Um, I saw this thread milk design. I saw her state, what's it called? Statehood Splendor series. And I had to buy Indiana because I'm Hoosier. And then I love tea. And so by Pineberry Lane, the tea kettle pin keep up. And then they had this prominently on display. I got Humphrey. Isn't he the cutest? So as I'm a little bit at a time, I'm going to keep buying these. Keep making them away. Also by Stacy Nash, I bought a strawberry wax. Um, the beeswax. I don't use beeswax, but I'm giving this away. I'm giving this part of a special surprise. So it's got the little clasp on it so you could put it on your scissors or wherever your things that you keep. I got some Lady Dot Creates finishing and it's very pretty, more of a, it's not showing up as like turquoisey, like a deep turquoise color. There, when I'm looking at my screen, it looks kind of blue, but it's more, Turquoisey to me. What else did I get? Oh, I got another sticker to add to my mug. Where's my sticker at? Sorry for my bag rattling. Sorry, not sorry. It's the crinkle of stitchy goodness inside. Oh, every day I'm stitching. I got this to add to my travel mug I use for with my hot tea when I go to work. Um, I got a lot of you guys have talked about this in the past ball tip needles. I'd never seen them in person. And so I got a case and I'm anxious to try them. Everybody that I've talked to, I said, look, I found these. And they're like, well, I love those. Sometimes I'm last to the party. And then I got, I'm going to give these oh, as some gifts. I got some Simply Shaker threads. Some pretty colors here. So this is a geranium, and I love geranium. I have lots of geranium as geraniums in my yard. I got some faded rose, liberty, and tea rose. And then in the weeks, I got snowflake. I think I got two of those because I think I'm going to set those aside for a 
Snowman. I got Indian Summer. Kumyak. Cherub. Blackboard. Who doesn't love a good gray? And the last one is Dolphin. So. And then they gave me these cards. There is a Merry Meeting Show in New Harmony, Indiana on October 27th through 28th. There's a lot of, a lot of everything there, they told me. And they've done it every year. So I will put I will put these details in the bottom. Let me see if they have a web, they have a website. So I will link that below. They asked me to take a couple of these to StitchCon and so I will. So I'll advertise here. All right, let me double check to see if I caught everything. Oh, what else have I bought? Coming in the mail, um, Hands-On Design does a fundraiser for Special Olympics because she will not do the polar plunge, which I'm with you, sister. I won't do the polar plunge either. So she has her polar, polar plunge series of Christmas ornaments. There's a puffin. There's a polar bear. There is a whale. And the title of that is Whale Hello. My husband really loves that. So that, I'm going to get that. That's going to be a present. Penguins, puffins, whale. The NAR whale is a PDF download only, so more money can go to Special Olympics, and all the funds from NAR whale are going to Special Olympics, so go to Hands-On Design and get that. Along with that is, there is a N is for NAR whale scissor fob by Lady Dots Creates. Now, she has two scissor fobs. One has a, has several little charms on it. And it talks about the polar plunge, but she also says this is not the this is not the fundraiser one. The N is for Narwhal one is for those funds are some of those funds are going to go to Special Olympics as well. So uh, those are coming my way. So yeah, I've been I've been stitching like I've not been stitching like crazy. I've been buying like crazy, and I'm getting ready to go to StitchCon and I'm going to spend more money there. So. I don't know what my deal is. I guess I'm going to live to be 10 million. Because I think that's how long it would take me. Um, I, have a, I have a whole basket here of other things I've purchased. We might as well. I got this at the library for a dollar. Stitch Graffiti by, sorry, they put the tag over here. Heather Holland Daily. The copyright is... Two thousand eight. Sorry, I got sidetracked. Um, let me. I I wanted to have this because there were some cute patterns in here. Let's see if I could do this. On a bad day, there's lipstick. There's always lipstick, right? Um, there were some other really cute designs in here. And all kinds of different they had, she, they had some on clothing, which is kind of coming back again. That's a really nice little design. If you have never used waste canvas, it is not hard to work with. I um I did tons of things for my children back in the day. She also does it on other things. This one was done on screen. It's kind of cool. It makes me think of um, Arlene Cohen. All right, so um, maybe go give her some love. I also found this one by the New York Dreamer. The dishes are looking at me dirty again. going to see if it talked about where the um, the wood was made by Paisley's and Polka Dots and they have a website and I think if I've seen I think I've seen other woodworks done by her 
And then Vana, I think, did a finishing something for maybe for the um, cross stitch and primitive magazine. And I was on a search for this baby hairs hunt. It took me a bit to get this. I got two other prairie schoolers that I got this year. I got book number 172. Oops. Christmas favorites. I think these I would finish individually. And I got number 90, Spring and Fall. Both of these I got at Cranberry Ball Cottage. Here's another book I got at um, Barnes & Noble, Lit Stitch, 25 Cross Stitch Patterns for Book Lovers. It says it's by Book Riot. Um, I have some readers in my world. Look at this. Read them. It says read them and steep. Books and tea? Who doesn't love books and tea? You could change it, I guess, to coffee. Books and brew. Um, but they're all, oh, check this out. Look how pretty that is. I'll show you one more. Oh, here. Bring your own book. So I got this at Barnes and Noble. I think it was a good find. So, all right, friends, I think I'm going to wrap it up. I enjoyed being with you today. Um, it's been lovely. I hope you're stitching. All of you are counting well and having fun stitching and stitching all the things, stitching past your life expectancy. There's nothing wrong with that. Little stash and hand spin, right? All right. I hope I will be back after StitchCon and show you all the all the things and share all the things. And um I'm giving you a Midwest goodbye and just keep talking and talking. So happy stitching, everybody.